Here we see the case of a 65-year-old male who was referred with a rectal carcinoid tumor. First, we have to determine the size and infiltration depth of the tumor. To this end, we perform endosonography with a 12 MHz through the scope EUS catheter probe after filling the rectum with water. On EUS, the tumor is visualized as a lower echoic mass with a high echoic spot. As you can see, the submucosa, corresponding to the hyperechoic layer, is narrowed but not completely disrupted. The size of the tumor is about 5 times 4 mm in diameter. Therefore, this tumor is a good candidate for endoscopic resection. Here we see the macroscopic appearance of the carcinoid tumor. It is a yellowish submucosal tumor with only a portion projecting above the plane of the mucosal surface. Marking dots for the incision are placed outside the tumor with a flex knife. A small caliber tip transparent hood is fitted onto the tip of the endoscope and we proceed with lifting of the lesion. For submucosal injection, we use a sodium hyaluronate solution containing some blue dye. After sufficient injection, mucosal incision is made with the flex knife set to about 2 mm in length. For this procedure, the electrosurgical generator output is set at duration 2 and interval 3 of endocut 1, effect 1. Now we can start submucosal dissection with the electrosurgical generator output set at 20 watts in swift coagulation mode. During the ESD in the rectum, the flex knife is set to about 1 mm in length. The small caliber tip transparent hood attached to the endoscope tip is inserted into the thickened submucosal layer to maintain a satisfactory view. A water jet system is also useful for obtaining the clear endoscopic view. Remember, always avoid blind submucosal dissection to minimize the risk of perforation. After completing the mucosal incision of the whole circumference, we repeatedly perform submucosal injection with sodium hyaluronate solution to optimize lifting of the lesion. Using small caliber transparent hood, we can see the submucosal layer directly and we can safely move the knife in any direction. Here we can see the vertical margin of the carcinoid tumor, which is seen as a yellowish small mass. We don't have to cut the submucosal layer with force. All we have to do is gently touch the submucosal layer with the knife because the submucosal layer is always stretched by the transparent hood. Now the tumor is completely resected with a total procedural time of 25 minutes. In the next step, we perform closure of the post-ESD wound ground with the so-called zipper. 
During the closure procedure, the transparent cap is useful in narrowing the space between the margins by applying some tension at the margins that were already adapted with clips. This trick facilitates subsequent hemoclip placement for complete closure of the lesion. Histological workup of the resection specimen showed the carcinoid tumor with negative lateral and vertical margins.